Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I feel like I should kind of be saying welcome back to myself because it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. And I have to say, I'm really, really missing it. First of all, I just have to say I'm wearing red lipstick. <laughs> if you guys know me at all, you would know that me wearing red lipstick is not like me. Um, but it's called Power Lips. It's a lipstick that my sister sells and Power Lips is awesome. It's kind of like one of those lipsticks that are a stay put lipstick. Cadence wore Power Lips. This is um, called Roar. This is the lipstick. The lipstick name is called Roar. Um, and there's all kinds of different colors and shades, but she's wearing Roar on stage today. She had her dance recital and um, I decided I was gonna rock it as well, which is like really, really out of character for me, but I've actually really enjoyed it. And that's weird. I like it enough to be wearing it, but it's very out of character for me. I'm rambling. Anyways, this is new territory for me and I'm loving it. So if you want information about Power Lips, let me know in the comments below and I can get you that info. So I have been meaning to make a video about my weight loss journey. It wasn't my last video, but it might've been the video before that, um, where I talked about my weight loss journey and um, I am on a journey to losing weight and getting healthier and all of that. And um, I wanted to give you guys an update and I've been wanting to for a few weeks now but I just have to say it's just like all really going well I've lost almost 17 pounds so far which is huge and I just don't feel like I can I can see it but like I also don't feel like I've actually lost 17 pounds it's really weird um, so I go through days where I see it a lot and then other days I feel like I see no change which is fine because it's all it's just all shifting just mentally it's shifting and all of it um, but overall, I definitely can tell that I'm losing weight, um, and I'm just on a really good journey. Some days I have a harder time than others, um, but overall I've been doing really well. It's just been harder and harder as time has gone on and on because it's not just like a one, one time quick fix. It's like, this is lifestyle. This is life changing. It's breaking a lot of different like mindsets. So it's been really good, but really challenging. Also, I feel like I've been in a really good headspace is what I call it. Like, I feel like I've got a really good, healthy, happy headspace about, about this, but some days are harder than others. We went to Disneyland, um, a few weeks back a month, a month ago now or something. And I lost weight that week of vacation and I've stuck with it. So I feel really proud of myself for pushing through um, during my entire California vacation and especially in Disneyland. I went a little bit extra in Disneyland and I gave myself a little bit of leeway. I definitely splurged. Um, I had some things that um, I typically wouldn't have on a normal day. Obviously it's Disneyland, how can you not? But um, even then, I still I still lost weight. And Cameron and I share a lot of meals. We've been sharing a lot of meals um, because our dishes here in America are just huge and you just don't need that much food anyways. And it saves us some money. So I lost weight. I've been losing weight consistently. The last few weeks, I've been losing like a pound. Some like weeks I've been maintaining. So I haven't been losing as much as I've desired to lose, but I know that it's going to be a slow process and that's okay. Um, I haven't gained, so I'm on the right track. When I have maintained, it feels a little bit discouraging, but I know that, it, that it's not and I, I have to fight against those feelings because it's all working. It's all doing its thing. And even if I maintain, that's okay. My body just is, taking its time and it took a while to get it all on. It's going to take a while to get it all off. And the slower that I go, the more likely that this weight, once I lose it, will stay off. So I understand that I can see big picture and I can see 
um, that in the long run, it's not gonna matter if I lost a pound a week or whatever. The fact is that I'm still going and that I'm not giving up. I mean, overall, I think I've done really a really good job. My working out has kind of decreased, um, which is probably also what contributes to my maintaining rather than losing. Um, but my eating habits have been really good. I've been intermittent fasting and um, I'm eating one salad every day. It doesn't matter if it's for lunch or for dinner, even when I go out to eat. I typically eat a salad if I haven't already had one that day. Or sometimes I'll have two salads a day, but it just depends on the day. And then just like eating well, eating better, smaller portions. I've been drinking a lot of water, but I probably could be drinking more. I typically try and walk um, two miles every day. So there are a lot of days that I do that. Coming home from Disneyland, the thing that has kind of decreased is my workouts. Um, all of the eating right and the intermittent fasting and the water and all the other things have stuck. Um, it's just now the workouts for me that I, I have to I have to put in a bit more time and I have to go harder with working out more. So typically I walk two miles. If I can get four miles in, I will, um, but that depends on the day. Another thing that I do is typically I'm wearing workout clothes. If I am waking up and putting on a sports bra and workout clothes. More than likely, I will find some time throughout the day to work out. Um, and if I'm not, then I won't. So I've been living in my workout clothes and I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's not going to be forever, but it's a season. So I think something that I could do is go shopping <laughs> and get more workout clothes. I have like three workout pants. And so I wear them and then I have to wash them like right, right away. And I typically don't do laundry every day, every other day. We typically do it once a week, maybe. I'd like to have a few more workout pants and workout clothes on hand. That way um, I can just like kind of for the week, I can have outfits and just kind of like do it all over again. It seems really boring. It seems really repetitive and monotonous. Um, but it just kind of has to be right now in order for me to be successful. There's a lot right now that I am doing that I don't want to do, but I'm doing it anyway. So that's what I say. A lot, a lot of what I say throughout the day is I don't want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. Like I'm gonna, I don't want to walk two miles, but I'm going to do it anyways. Or I don't want to eat this salad, but I'm going to do it anyways. I just have to keep reminding myself that even though I don't want to do it, I I'm still going to. And in the end, in the long run, I actually do want to do it because the outcome is something that I desire. I just like really don't want to walk two miles or go work out or whatever. Some moments I don't want to. Some sometimes I do, so it's not all the time. That is my my kind of my phrase, kind of my motto sort of, I don't want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. And that really helps me because I'm just choosing, like, I'm just choosing that, like, it's okay to not like it, but still do it. Like, there's a lot in our lives that we just don't want to do, but we just have to do it, right? I didn't want to, like, change a bunch of Cadence's diapers when she was a baby, but I did it anyways, you know? It was like, you just do it. There's a lot in your life that, that you just do. And in the long run, you know, I don't, I don't change those diapers anymore. Pretty soon here, I'm not going to need to have a salad every day, or I still probably can because I'm actually really enjoying them. There's a lot for me in like repetitiveness that just helps me, just helps me. And after a while, I kind of get sick of it, but then I can switch it up a little bit and do something different. But um, for me, if I can just like kind of mindlessly do it without really putting too much effort into it, it will help me to actually do it. Overall though, I'm feeling really good. I'm, I've, it's 16.6 pounds that I've lost. So almost 17 pounds, not quite, but almost. And I'm feeling really excited. My goal is to focus on the next 17 to 20 pounds. I have a lot of weight that I want to lose, but if I can just do this kind of again, all over again, and just lose another 17 pounds, you know, I'll be in pretty good shape. And then 
I mean, not good shape, but like, I'll just like metaphorically be in good shape. <laughs> I think that I just need to push myself a little bit harder and refocus a little bit, which is one reason as to why I, I really wanted to upload this video is just because I need to be holding myself accountable and posting this and having you guys do this journey with me and, and hold me accountable and just like being upfront and honest about it all, I think is very important for me in this journey as well. Things that I could be doing better at is my fitness pal and exercise and sleeping. I think I could get on a better sleep schedule. So that might be my goal moving forward. It's all mental for me and it's all just like shifting a lot in my mind, telling myself no a lot. I say no all the time. I'm not saying no for forever, but I am saying no for right now. And it has to be okay. I don't want to say no to that donut, but I'm going to anyways. Some days it's really easy and some days it's really hard. A couple mornings ago, I did have a donut hole. I enjoyed it. Everything in moderation. I ate it earlier in the day. I did not eat any more after that. And um, so, you know, I'm finding the balance and I'm finding the moments where I'm like, no, it's okay to have that. But for the most part, I'm saying no. Uh, the later that the day is, the more likely it is that I'm going to say no to something that's not as healthy for me. A lot of times I am really strict about saying no to those kinds of things just because it's pointless and it's just not gonna get me to where I wanna get to. And then once I'm there, then I, I can have a donut occasionally, you know, like I said everything in moderation. Um, but I think it also, you know, you you set yourself up for binge eating if you say no to everything and you just don't allow yourself to <clears throat> enjoy some things here and there. Um, so when I feel like it's the right moment to say yes to a treat, I will do it. Um, but it's really few and far between and most of the time I have to say no. And I'm also not yet at the place or close to a place where I feel like is my end goal weight. So I have a long ways to go and I just, I don't want to start falling off the wagon. And the more that I say no, the faster I'm going to get to my destination. I'm not in a huge rush, but I also like really am all at the same time. I'm just ready. I'm just ready for this to be over. I'm ready for it to be done. And I'm ready to have just like lost a lot of the weight and just move on with life. And let me know how your guys' journeys are going. Some of you have written me awesome comments um, after I, I posted my last video. So I'm really, really eager and interested to hear what you guys have to say now, how your journey has been going. I don't know how often I will update, but um, this update was long overdue. So I'm thankful that you guys are here. Thank you for sticking through this video and watching. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. I have an essential oil package that came. I haven't unboxed it yet. So I'll probably post that next week with how sporadic my videos have been lately. If you guys want to know when I've up uploaded a video, it is important to click that bell. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and um, hopefully I will see you guys next week. Bye.